Continuous lights, RGB lights, may be one of the best ways to improve your lighting skill. You may have noticed this. Recently I have changed the gear that I'm using to light my subject and you know although it's temporary this might have an influence on the gear that I will be using in future projects. During this session with Jennifer we played with colors but you will quickly notice that in a lot of the pictures we worked around very specific colors. But the most important lesson here during this photo shoot wasn't my choice of colors, but more the way I placed my lights and how precise you can be because each one of your lights has a distinctive color. The problem when you're working with white light is that you can't clearly see when your lights overlap on each other, especially when you're working with multiple light sources. With colors, it's a totally different story, especially when you're using continuous lights. You see the effect of your lights live while you're taking them. So you see exactly where the shadows are, where your different colors overlap, where they mix on your subject's body or your subject's face. So I placed my lights and we started shooting right away. And soon I realized how fast I was able to fine tune the placement of my lights during the shoot. Something that, you know, takes me much more time when I'm creating with flashes or strobes. Like my previous tiny home sessions, this happened in my living room. I'm using two Nanlite Pavotube 30C and the Forza 500 with the Fresnel. When using three different light sources with three different colors, I usually take my two Pavo tube LED lights, put them in the back, and use the Forza 500 on the front with the Fresnel and a colored gel on it. We then improvised the pose, the light placements with or without catch lights. For those dark portraits on a dark background, I usually ask my models to sometimes close their eyes. We also played with color temperatures. The lights on the back are set at roughly 2700K and the light on the front is at 5600K.
if you are hesitating in using RGB continuous lights versus using strobes or flashes with colored gels on it, well, ask yourself these two questions. Will you have total control on your ambient light in your studio? And will you be capturing fast moving subjects? If you wish to freeze a movement, for example, you will need a ton of power. So strobes will be a better choice unless you want to bump your ISO to insane levels. Plus, if you're starting out and if you want to test, experiment, you know, create with colors, then I would recommend using RGB continuous lights if you can. Because, you know, you actually see what you do and it will be easier for you to test things, to experiment things, and you will quickly get decent results. I think I'm ready to take my portraits to the next level and I firmly believe that my journey has just begun. So, so rendezvous the next one. I really cannot wait to share with you where this is going because I personally don't know and this is exciting. <laughs> Until then, please take care and of course, have a good one. Don't know the reason, just hope I feel better.